What's up guys? Welcome, welcome today. Uh, we have our final panel today. Um, or the final... Final panel for bid? I don't know. What do you, the, the, the last one in the series. Um, <sighs> so how's everybody doing today? Ugh. Let's get ready for another another stream. And so today I was thinking that we're gonna do a pinup. So I have a cutout of a pinup. And um what we're gonna do is um we're actually gonna do the pinup like do it um as on the lowrider panel we kind of did all them lowrider graphics and then just you know focused a little bit of time on that and we didn't do it really in color today we're gonna do a pinup we're gonna do it all up in color we're gonna do i think we want, i want to do like a grunge grunge style background just kind of some rust and maybe some some stuff going on and then we're gonna maybe do some rust dripping down. So what's up, Stephen Ward? What's up, JP Tez? What's up, Captain Customs? What's up, Fings? What's up, Jess? What's up, Udo? How's it going? So yeah, that's how we're gonna work it in today. Um, so hopefully you guys like today's panel. Again, this will be the last one of the series, of this little series. Um, you guys have been super amazing. And like I said in the last stream, uh, we kind of reached our goal and passed it and I don't know what whoever bids in this panel like I just don't know what we're gonna use that money towards just yet so um, but yeah you guys have been super awesome and this will be the last one before we get back to some instructional videos and I just want to thank you guys you guys have been totally like I just, super awesome shout out to JP Taz Mr. Fings and Mr. McLean, who've been buying the, the paintings. And again, this one is up for bid. And today's stream is a little live. I mean, early. Of course, it's live. I mean, it's early. And this is timed to try to be out for my UK friends. According to my math, I might be wrong, but according to my math, this might be a good time for you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, um, pretty much, so just gonna use some magnets, tack her down, <clears throat> what's up veins, how's it going, what's up soul, what's up JD Renfro, what's up Thomas Thompson, <laughs> can I buy the three that I'm missing, <laughs> what? Right on, right on, man. I'm glad you got it, Fings. Man, it takes a while to get to Canada, doesn't it? All right, so, if I'm not mistaken, we have some black. Load it up, keep this here. That's black, that's black. What's up, Cody Adams? So today we have our nice new chat screen so I can see your guys' chats as quickly as I they come in. As quick as my eye can see it. And I don't have to look up, be like this. Oh, hey. We just be like, what's up? I need a panel to put behind me in my Zoom meetings. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move you away just real quick. I'm just 
going to lay a little bit of a black um, a little bit of a black oh man I just had the word on the tip of my tongue and I can't think of it um, I just had the word and I can't think of it and that, we're going to do a nice little fade all the way around there's a specific word for this um, type of fade that goes around the picture. And so I just want this to get nice and dark around the edges. So that she looks like she's glowing. And we are painting on steel today. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed these live streams. It's been super fun just being able to get creative and paint some stuff. throw some silver in. What's up, Air Todd? Have a good day getting ready for work. Yep. Yep. That's what I thought most of everybody in the U.S. would be at right now is at work. What's up, John Godfrey? How's it going? Excellent stuff as always. Thank you, thank you, sir. We're just getting started today. Silver, I mixed up with 4050 and Sparkle, and all kinds of good stuff is in this little bottle right here. Stuck in traffic, oh man. Yeah, it's morning here in a lot of America. Uh, according to my math, uh, it's like the afternoon some, in the, some parts of the UK. I don't know. Some parts of Europe is what I should say. Some parts of Europe right now. It's like the afternoon time. If I did my math correctly. I'm at work dozing. Yeah. The advantages of working from home. Oh man, yeah. You got it made. You got it made, fiends. Alright, so I'm going to use the the texture attachment. I'm just gonna get kind of random with it. And I want some good globs because these nice droplets of paint. When I'm done doing that. I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna push them down like this. See when they're nice and wet, you can kind of move them around. Tips and tricks, son. Tips and tricks. Now those are dry. 
dry out flat and they're going to give us this weird looking background. Stuff here that we're doing, so <clears throat> push these ones around. Okay, pretty good. push make sure we get some nice cool little squiggles and squirrels sometimes if you let it dry a little bit you'll get those nice little hard edges where the pearl sticks and you push it around and you get those weird kind of shapes going that's what I'm going for <clears throat> show you right here pearl silver so you'll see that and again once we lay the clear and you're like you know you walk by and the light shines on it you'll get those little reflections coming back <clears throat> too early to bid no you're good uh i'm gonna not have more caps and airbrush <laughs> do i need to buy more airbrushes yes i'll re-watch it later all right air todd we'll see you later have a good day at work sir Captain Custom says $55. We'll get you on the board, sir. There it is. So we got Captain Customs with a Z or with an S? Oh, it's with an S. Coming in strong at $55, and I believe eight cents, he said? <laughs> the cents, the cents bids are always funny. Thank you very much, sir, for getting it started there. All right. Let's get this guy put away. And we have silver in here, so I'm just gonna go in and we're just gonna do a little bit of silver fade over that. Nothing too crazy, I just wanted a little bit of that metallic going around. And this particular silver has some of the hot rod sparkle in it, so as I'm spraying it around, I'm seeing that pop through as well. <clears throat> cool. Mike's new nickname is Morning Mike. Yeah, no, like I said, um, we wanted to plan out some of the streams to get to everybody. And so this is the ones where this this stream is too early for love. <laughs> uh, this stream is more for the UK people in the time zone. So we're just trying to, we're trying to get everybody to fit in. Get in there, son, you fit. Damn, they are relentless, yeah. I've been seeing it happen a lot. You would think they'd get, you would think they'd get the point, but not so much. Let's see here. Bring some of this texture in here. You won't be able to see this too much right away. And all I did was mix in some tequila yellow in with the, um, the silver we had going. And I just want a few of these draped around just to give the panel a really like different 
look. about the silver no more silver no more silver there is enough silver <laughs> what's up 88 katana I almost missed your message what's up Martin K good morning from Germany yep how you doing so yeah I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be doing streams in the morning there um, <laughs> Cause it's it's yeah this is a, like a once in a while thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some tequila yellow texture attachment. Clean this off. I keep I keep grabbing the napkin and tossing it right away instead of holding it. Silver out of there. Good. And dump some of this around. Maybe just a little yellow. I just want to maybe get some spots, like maybe go in here. We'll push some of that around. But I do want to keep some of the little dots. A little bit of an organized mess, if you know what I'm saying. And then we're going to bring in tequila yellow, kind of going around. <clears throat> Got a brick chimney to rebuild today. Can't stay in long. Mike say he'd be worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. Coming at you live. All right. And then we're gonna need some dirt track brown. Oh, there it is. There it is.
die on the sun. So the new compressor uh, should be able to go and pick it up tomorrow if everything is still good. Um, so that this should be the last time you hear the big buzzer. Because from here on out, we're going to have our nice new compressor. I'll make a video about it showing it because it is kind of cool. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys are ready for that. That'll be able to sit right there. I doubt you guys will be able to hear it. Um, and I already got some, some air lines and stuff for it and getting ready to hook it up. And just got to go pick it up tomorrow. And the stream will have a dedicated compressor just for the stream. Because I ain't hauling that thing around everywhere, that's for sure. <clears throat> and I can keep burning out the cheap ones and keep pushing. Uh... So it's gonna be a good day for streams. First Mike, then Mr. Leahy. Oh, nice. Yeah, I get to watch Mr. Leahy later. Uh, watching from Colorado. We'll have to check back. Have a great day, ones. All right, sunny days. We'll see you later. What's up, Carlitos? How many gallons is your existing tank? Uh, so the, the existing one is, that's like a 60 gallon compressor. So, yeah. And then the new one, I think, is only like a five gallon. But it's a whole different type of beast. See, the, I have this compressor over here because for spraying clear and like using the big gun and stuff like that, it's, it's, that's what I need it for, right? Like the airbrushing is below those things. But I need something that can push that. Um, as far as the compressor, like for what I'm doing now, as long as it has a quick refill time, which the thing I'm getting does, um, we should be good to go. JP Taz says, if any purple goes on that, I'm going to bid. <laughs> I haven't quite decided what we're gonna, how we're gonna color her in, but. Who knows? Maybe some purple will go in. Huh. No, I'm just playing. I wasn't really, I didn't have purple in mind for this panel, but. some stuff here you can kind of bring this, bring this down 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 Ten or 220 volts um, I believe it's only 110 but I have not I'm not sure yet I don't know yet man all I know is I've seen the pictures I'm buying it used if you must know because this is a compressor that brand new I think it costs over $5,000. So, yeah, you're gonna wanna watch the video on this compressor. At least from what I could find, I couldn't find any of them for sale that was reasonably priced, but at the one I found, pretty great deal, all assuming that it works and that it's good to go. I go check it out tomorrow and yeah. 
Hopefully it's all good. And it's like I said, it is extremely quiet. And it should be able to sit right here. You won't hear it. It has a really quick refill time. Should be should be good. All right. So, what brand is it? So it's a June Air. If you guys have found June Air compressors before, and they do sell like I think they have compressors for like four hundred bucks or something like that. But the one that the one that I'm gonna get, the one that I'm looking at. It's pretty nice. It's probably an older model, but from what I understand, they run like clocks forever. And it looks really well taken care of, so. Oh. What did I do? I was just. I tapped on the screen and it took my thing away. So let me uh, show you here what we've got so far. So you can see the candy and then you see those silver spots coming out. Now I want to bring back our, um... dang, I can't think of the word. The fade going around. You need one quiet too. Yeah, it's, it's, this is not something I would recommend a lot of people to buy. <laughs> but, uh, uh, oh, that's white. I need black. I have them reversed today. There you kills off that sparkle going around towards the edges, more toward the edge. It's not gonna sparkle, so that, that'll keep this area more bright. Um, we do have color going all the way around. And I'm just gonna kind of re-emphasize our um, drips here. A border. A vignette, that's it, a vignette. Jesus. I had a lot of words coming to my head, and none of them was the right one, so I kept not saying it. And it is a vignette. Now we can use a little bit of white. Just a little bit of white. Vignette is a big word for us. I know, I know. There's a lot of in there. But um, it is a word. Pressure down. 
Alright, so all I'm gonna do is come in on these little textures I just laid in. And I just want a little highlight on these. Just a little tiny highlight on this. Not gonna take too much time, nothing like that. We just want a little bit of like, what is that? You know, something that's like it like it looks like it's peeling up or something. over the top of those black areas and then maybe on some of the silver too you can kind of go in there and the whole thing is that when you lay the clear on there and you start kind of just playing with the light then you walk around it and stuff this looks like it's peeling like the, the underneath you're looking at something underneath it All them little areas where we did the silver on. Okay, not too much, so don't overdo it. See? You got those little spots just like go right up and right up in there right and you see how it like you see how it like fades in and out depending on what you're doing look at that crazy crazy stuff alrighty so I think we're just gonna do a little bit of um, I don't even think we need to I don't need any white here. I think that's pretty good. So we can start working on our pinup. Got a nice little grungy background. There's like some decaying stuff and all that good jazz right there. We might go back and add a little bit more brown or something in there. I don't know. For now, I think we're going to switch off onto the girl. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh, man. What's up, Chris? How's it going? Did I miss one? Oh, no. Did I miss one? I go up here. Cody Adams did. He said $75. I was too entranced. My bad, Cody. I'll get you. So we got Mr. Cody Adams on here. There's so much going on! So much! Alright, Cody Adams knocking Mr. Captain Customs out there. 75 bucks. Mr. Cody. Honestly, Cody Adams sounds like a Wild West name. Ricky Bobby or something like that like you got two first names but also it sounds like you could have been like a, um, like you could have been part of Billy the Kid's crew or something like that <laughs> the bandit Cody Adams likes to wedge itself in there. Oh man. Well, how did you even get in there? Stop it, you. Stop it. Alright, we got our layout for our pinup. Only 30 minutes in. Now we got a couple hours, a few hours to get this pinup. And we're gonna do it completely in color. A real nice light. First thing we're gonna do is hide the background. I don't wanna get any overspray on this.
Get this right where, right where it goes. Which is easier said than done. All right, don't look at me like I'm having troubles because this is hard. A lot of times it's really hard to get it right, right where it goes. Oh my God, tack it down before it moves. I just looked up a June air compressor, 13k Canadian F meth bucks. Yeah, yeah, they're they're expensive, my guy. Um, and they're meant for like medical offices and stuff. And I really think the one that I'm gonna be picking up is gonna be some retired doctor or something. Um, so I'm getting I'm getting lucky. I'm getting super lucky with it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm not. I hate that I even talked about it because I might have probably just jinxed it or something. I don't have it yet, but once I have it in my hands, for sure I will let you guys know how awesome it is. I will compare it to a normal compressor. $100 reward <laughs> for Cody Adams. Man, that's rough, Cody. He said you're only worth 100 Crazy to think though, they were just handing out money for people back in the day. <laughs> hey, dead or alive, go kill this person. I'll pay you a thousand dollars. It's wild to think about, son. Like, this, that's the way they used to do it. Stay your ass out of trouble because you have the whole town coming for you. <laughs> Everybody in the town be like, I could build a new house with that thousand dollars. <laughs> Back then, anyway. That's a clean cut. Is it with a laser? No, this is actually just with, by my hand. By my hand. I'm trying to split up these two magnets. <sighs> You know magnets are strong when you have to go and stick the blade in between them so that you can get them separated and peel them off. <laughs> them some strong magnets. We'll exchange a live Cody Adams for a Mike's brush panel. Then that's a lot. Yeah, I know. Steven, look up the RK1620209. Yeah, they, they get expensive for sure. That's why I'm super jazzed about being able to get my hands on one. All right, and then I'm going to bring the cutting mat over here just to make it easy. Let me get rid of all this tape. Today, the fun easy pop was over. 
We did that up, up in the background. Oh, oh, you thought it was gonna be easy? Oh, oh yeah, you thought it was gonna be easy. Yeah, I mean, don't, don't get too jazzed yet because I don't have it yet. So just, just chill out, chill out, city. Let me, let me get my hands on it first. start off by covering up a couple parts and that would be her hair and her shoes and that way we can focus on some skin and we'll start coloring in some skin look up the ed 209 jokes <laughs> you guys are funny this right here so I can see kind of where I want to put in some shading I might actually bring it in and make some cuts just to give myself a good idea I'm gonna start off with universal flesh tone um, I'm gonna drop in just a little bit of white in with it and then we're gonna work our way from there music changed and now Mike's talking about skin <laughs> They are used at dentist to power that that drill, yeah, that that worst freaking sound you've ever heard in your fucking life. And you just know in your head that that's your tooth that he's just like grinding away on. Ah! No matter how many times I think about it, it hurts. It hurts, man. I don't even know how much of it is mental or not, but it freaking hurts. <laughs> they ain't playing with that. <laughs> Alright, so let me get some, just some basic shape in here. And some basic color. Come back and we'll fill in all around this. And this is just the universal flush tone. I'm going to throw in just a little bit of white in a minute just to brighten it up. And then we'll start cutting in some edges. The 
This will give us a good base. And I'm just trying not to get overspray all over the panel. Actually, I'm going to drop in some opaque cream. Can't find the nine. What nine? What? What did I miss? You trying to shoot somebody? Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> That's all I can think about. <laughs> you can't find the nine. Oh no, son. You're in danger. Stranger danger. Somebody help Steven Ward out. Bad thought to have, I don't know. <laughs> Mike the pickle. Pickle Mike! What's up, Oz Newton? Model 9 compressor. Oh, they have a Model 9, huh? Only mainly cops here have nines. for the reference. Mm. Let's start building in some detail. We're going to start back here. Yeah, the rest of us just have to scream loudly. Oh no!
That's just, that's just jacked up to think about. So the rest of us just have to scream loudly. What? <laughs> what? I hope you got good lungs, son. I hope you got good lungs. <laughs> That's all I know. I ain't gonna be hanging out with no friends that can't scream very loud. Or that can't fight, cause... Sorry, son, you're a liability. <laughs> no bang sticks for us. Oh, man. Like at all, none. That sounds brutal. I thought you guys had some. I thought you guys had some. No hand sticks. Huh? You guys got rifles though, right? Or some? You guys got some. That's rough. Rough times. That's brutal, son. Australia, man. Fucking kangaroos that'll beat you up and spiders that'll kill you at your car. Don't you go defending yourself from it, though. Don't you go defending yourself from it. I don't know, though. I don't know, that's wild.
We had a pretty bad mass shooting in Tasmania, and that stopped most of us having guns. Dang! Jeez. You know what always gets me, son? They always hold the, the one person's actions against everybody. Right now, I ain't gonna say if they were right or they were wrong for, for banning all the guns like that or for making it, you know, so that people can't have guns. But like the way I see it is, um, you know, the law enforcement, at least here anyway, they consider a vehicle like a deadly weapon, right? If you try to ram a cop with your car, that's considered a, a deadly assault, right? Like, like you. You tried to kill that cop. And people die in car accidents every day. Car accidents that, even though it's an accident, you know, somebody caused it. It was somebody's fault. Right? Like one person hit another. Right? It wasn't like, you know, like, oh, it's just some freak of nature or something. Like, no, like this person was negligent with their vehicle, hit somebody, and killed somebody. Happens every day. I don't ever hear them talk about the bang vehicle, son. Like, what? Right? They ain't talking about that. Like, there's lots of things like that where people die. Every day from, from some other thing, because somebody else, you know, whatever, and they ain't banning that thing, you know, and it's just that, so dumb, so dumb. And I ultimately think that evil people is going to do evil shit, whether they use a gun, whether they use a knife, whether they go and they poison a bunch of people. You know, they, they get in their head, they talk them up, whatever it is, have you. Evil people is going to do evil. That's just what it is. You can't stop the rest of us just because some evil guy did something. And that's kind of how I feel about it. And I feel the more that they lock down on us, the more that you're actually letting evil do fucking evil shit. Because, again, evil is going to do evil whether they can buy a gun or whether they just get a knife out of the kitchen or whether they just get in their car and drive out a fucking bunch of people. So yeah, it's that whole thing. All right, so now I'm gonna just use the universal flesh tone. Still pretty bright color, but it is a little slightly different than what we were using. So a little bit reducer. that little difference there. Oh, 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 oh. Can I just... Man. Always, always with the forgetting the cap. Jesus.
who got shot in his right index finger and died instantly. He was picking his nose at the time. Oh, <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> That's funny. Ban alcohol, legalize weed, never saw a stoner be violent, wanting to use a gun. Yeah. Airbrushes here. This one. Only if you steal his weed. Stoners don't want to drive either. They want to eat because of the munchies. <laughs> you guys are funny. for riding a bike stone. Oh, jeez. Does don't nobody ask Stephen Ward how he knows that? Why drink and drive when you can smoke and fly? <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are funny for sure. I had 
There it is. There it is. Don't lose your mind. All right. All right. Start putting in some detail here. If you had to mix flesh tone, what paints would you use? So, but when I do portraits, this is a, like when I do portraits on t-shirts, um, I like to use the color peach, the color sand, and light and dark brown. Um, that works out pretty good for me usually. From there, it's just going to depend on how dark the person is or how light, however you want to look at it, what side of the spectrum you fit on. Too much, too much.
So Cody Adams is gonna get himself a hell of a painting today for 75 bucks. Not gonna lie, it's gonna be nice. Yeah, Createx does have a set of flesh tones. That's what I'm doing right now. JP Tez <laughs> coming in with the eighty dollars. We only have one real supplier here in Australia, Melbourne, and it's pretty pricey. No, he is not. I'm jumping in at ninety. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh things, things. I don't know if that was intentional, but that was right after JP Taz. <laughs> oh no! I, I come back and I look and JP Taz drops the 99.99. Oh my goodness. You guys. I, 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 I just, I walked, I went over back to the stand. Look at a little screen. And JP Taz is not going to go down easy, he says. I am excited to lay down some clear finally on these. Oh man, you know what? I'm just gonna put JP here. Cause your name's so long. Your name's so long. Let's do JP. Ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Woo! <laughs> I, I, I came over here and I'm like, oh man, things is getting controversial. The JP Taz said, no, 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 it's mine. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys again. I hope Cody Adams wasn't expecting to win because he just lost his place. This guy right up in here. Like she's saying, hey, hi, how you doing, hi.
I know they all went quiet. They're all over there counting their pennies. I know this. <laughs> All right, so let me do some cuts real quick to the face. Or actually, let me just finish this off. Now she is wearing a bra and underwear. That's kind of why I'm not detailing this out because we're just going to fill those areas in uh, with a different color in a minute. So there's no point in really spending too much effort in that area. Right yet. Got our little face cut out here. I'm gonna bring you guys in nice and close. Uh, which way? This way. Oh my god, I got it perfect on the first try. Holy crap. <laughs> I made it late to work, frosty windows. Oh man. What would a nice name for this lady pinup? Let's hear some Mikey's Angel. <laughs> off these areas so we're gonna mark that off and fold this over all right that gives me a pretty good idea of where to put things How is payment made? What's up, William Klein? Um, so I have to send you a PayPal invoice. That's the, the best way, unless you plan to pick it up in person. 
you're local in Colorado, I will let you do that. Alright, so you guys kind of see the layout for this? Now I need to come back in with some regular flesh tone and we're going to back and do a little bit of push and pull we're going to leave this one loaded it's going to leave it lo loaded before i move on though i am going to just mark off some things with a little bit of blackity black if i can I'm just slightly marking them in. I'm not going super dark on them. Go there and on the back of the neck. Okay, good. Keep the face, move it over there. Okay, same thing with the black right up in here. Right up in there, just a little bit of the blackity glam. This guy, um, the trampoline. <laughs> the testicle. <laughs> Alrighty, that's an awkward name for a woman, but I dig it. <laughs> the test tickle, huh? First name test, last name tickle. Juicy Lucy. Waiting for that scary compressor to wake us all up. Yeah, I don't think it'll kick on for a minute. It kicked on already once, so we're spraying pretty low PSI, so it shouldn't kick on right away. I'm here and I'm fading fast. 1527, what is that? Freaking 3 o'clock, 3.30?
They're perfect. Come in. Actually, actually, let me uh, let me, uh which color here should I replace? Let's get this white. Okay. What was the first one and the second one in the series? So the first one was uh, Fings's the wooden panel. So it's a nice wooden panel that's in the shape of a skull. We put a skull on it with some flames. The second panel was, I believe, the Joker panel, right? And I did a freehand Joker on there. We did a cool little background on it. We did an airbrush as the bat symbol. Pretty cool little little panel as well um, biscuit technician how's it going 8 30 here in cold washington state yeah it's freaking 9 30 here right now 9 30 in the morning what's up william klein all right so now i got some of this And this will be the last one of this uh, particular little series that we got going here. Um, we're gonna go back to some instructional videos after this. So if you've been itching for those, they're coming. We're almost there. We're almost there, son. to this So the third one was the lowrider theme? Yep, yep, that sounds about right. That sounds about right.
got her skin looking. I'm I'm trying to scroll on here. That's that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Talk later and happy bidding. What? Right on, Stephen World. I'll see you later, man. Thanks for dropping in today.
<sighs> What's up, Willem? How's it going? Uh, nice I can watch a live show during dinner time. Oh, nice. Nice. I hope you're enjoying your dinner. It's breakfast time here where we are. It's nice and breakfast time. What you having for dinner, Willem? What you having for dinner, son? darn good not gonna lie so I'm just gonna finish off the face and in order to do that we need a little bit more dark and a brown which I believe we still have loaded over here and then we will um, do the red on her lips. That. So that'll bring her eyes back out. Put a little, little bit of a shadow right here. going around a little bit of detail here it's pasta today nice you're probably having like authentic pasta not like Walmart pasta, but like real pasta. some red should we do her um her outfit red as well so it matches her lips and maybe her um her shoes as well or should we do in purple <laughs> i think a nice hot red would look good so let's cut this out Put all these pieces back into place. Get 
this bad boy right up in here. Purple and red hair. Hmm. Red hair sounds interesting. Where did your face go? Oh, it's right here. Right in front of my face. You don't want all the same colors. No, no, I don't want all the same colors. What you should do is make me a coffee, though. It's cold in here right now. What are you painting on steel? Yep. We're painting on steel today. Somebody wants to counter and beat me. <laughs> um, got a note that your first painting from this collection will be in my hands tomorrow. Yeah, baby. A note that your first painting from this collection will be in my hands tomorrow. Proceeds go to a shop heater for Mike. No, I actually warmed it up in here before I came in here. But it's obviously, it's cold outside, so it's starting to cool off in here. And we, we got a heater last year. That was what you guys got me last year. All right, so let's just do some red. red on her lips. I'm still trying to decide what we should do on her um, her top and bottom here. And it all sounds good. Yeah, it's me. It all's gonna look nice, but which one's gonna look really nice for y'all? Hmm. So we can remove these shoes too. Let's get these shoe areas exposed so we can get some color up in here as well. Willem Klein comes in with a 110, son! 110! The wooden skull will arrive tomorrow. No, it can't arrive tomorrow because I haven't sent it yet. How is that gonna work? I still have to put the clear on it. The clear, the clear gets put on tomorrow. 
after I finish this panel, just waiting on this panel to be done, then we could clear up all the panels at once. Make it real easy, real nice. We'll give them a day or two to dry. I might buff out any nibs or anything that's on there. And then, yeah, go from there. So we had William Klein come in with a 110. He's ready to take it, son. He's ready to take it. All right, let's load up a little bit of red. Or actually, geez, I'm trying to decide. Should I do her lips red and her shoes red? And then we could do her, her top and her bottom green? Green, does that sound good? Or should we do blue? Well, who the heck sent me some? I don't know. You said you got the first package already, right? So that, that's what I sent. Then you'll get another tracking number here in a few days. I know I want red on the lips, so we're going to do red on the lips. Let's take care of that first. How about that? Bring some coffee out, polka dot. That's all I know is I need a little bit of coffee. I need some polka dot coffee. Blue and white dots. Y'all are killing me. Shoes, let's start with the shoes. Should I do the shoes red? Should I do the shoes silver? So it has like that a little bit of that silver from the background in there. I could do that as well. What's up, Don Mayor? How's it going? All right, first off, my idea of the silver shoes, I think I like that. Red, red shoes, huh? Match them to the lips. See, the, the whole thing though is that if I match them to the lips, then the top and the bottom have to somehow in some way complement this. So I could do red on these and then maybe do like yellow. Yellow would look really good or like an orange. I guess we'll go with red and then maybe a yellow with red polka dots or orange. All right, so I'm just going to
Top and bottom can be transparent clear. <laughs> I like your style, man. I like your style. Alright, so first off, let's lay in some shading for these. I'm I'm a little I'm gonna keep looking at the suggestions while I do these shoes, right? Because I'm I have to fill in and shave your shoes and stuff. I'm looking though. <laughs> why is it white in here? I thought I had black in there. I thought I had black in there. No, it's blacks in this one. I have them reversed again. Orange is a good idea? All right. I like orange too. Orange, orange sounds good, okay. All right, so let's load up some orange. Orange will be nice and bright, which is a good. Trying to give me burnt coffee? I'll drink it. Just start off with some orange.
Alrighty. And I'm gonna take that out. Bro, what is it with these bots? What is it with the bots lately? Is it cause I said I don't like Russia? And it's not even that I don't like Russia. Cause I actually think Russia would be cool to visit someday. What I don't like is their leader and their government. The way they carrying themselves on the world stage right now. I mean, and if that's all you got is some little bots, it just goes to show. That's why you in the position you in, man. Bots have been coming in heavy. The bots are up early. I honestly think they just have me like on their watch list or something. Must be nice though, like just sit around, watch for live streams to go live, and then sit there. And... That's the job I need. That is literally almost the job you have. You complain. <laughs> like you literally just sit there and watch people be bots. <laughs> like it's as close to it as you can get. I actually think this this yellow orange is gonna contrast really good with the black with the background. Back in the early days of the internet, I fell for a work from home scam. <laughs> oh no! Most of these bots are prisoners in China and Russia. Oh no, Mike! I think your CIA cover is blown. They know who you are. <laughs> Damn it! I knew those years working as an assassin for the CIA would come back to bite me in the ass, man. God dang it. If Fins knows, then they definitely know. <laughs>
<laughs> it's Britney G doing it. Who the hell is Britney G? <laughs> what is Britney G? Thomas Thompson said it's Britney G doing it. You don't like it? You I thought try this one? I want to try that one, yeah. It does have like a funky like burnt taste. I just feel milk and sugar like I usually do. Yeah, bullshit. Why does this one taste so much better? I put creamer in that one and you don't like creamer. What did you do to that one though? That's milk the... and sugar. No, it tastes like the coffee tastes. Same exact coffee. <laughs> I'll keep this one. Fine. I'll add creamer to this one. Just giving her her clothes some style, some pattern. I don't know how well you guys can see that or not. The bikini is like the coffee, burnt. Yep. Yeah, like I said, it'll make a lot more sense once I actually uncover the background. It'll blend in real good with the background. Real good. left is the hair pretty sure so we can, and then you know a few details on the face but we're gonna get that done after the hair see now we have the, the lips done but we just have to get her eyes and maybe add a little just a little bit more color in there and maybe just some dark shadows but you got her teeth all up in there and everything I mean that's it's little son it's little all right, so let's move this hair out the way. Now, what color should the hair be? Griner, you, yeah, I know who that is. I only know who she is because of of all the trouble she's in or the trouble she got into. Red shines only would be sick. Burnt orange to red tips. Grandma blue, but fading to black tips. Yeah, she got a laptop in herself. What's up, Captain Cutsums? They outbid you, man. We got William Klein in here today. Uh, he has it up at 110. What the fuck is Grandma Blue? Yeah, that's kind of where I was wondering. I was trying to think, like, in my head. What, what is what is he referring to? 
I don't believe I've ever seen that shade of blue. All right, let's cover her back up before we go all in. Make sure we got this right in the right, right location because this is going to be critical. Then I'm going to put some right here to cover up her lips because we don't want anything getting on those pretty lips. Good. That looks gray, okay? Yeah, yeah, no, this is gray, but we could color over that. We're gonna, you know, that's why I'm asking, what color should we do? Her hair. That gray looks okay. <laughs> Just leave it gray. Her job in prison is changing light bulbs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Cause she don't need a ladder, son. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, you're gonna make me choke on my coffee. All right. All we got this hair. Then we can unmask it. We can focus on just some little details. Just getting it just nice and smacker doodles. Blonde. Blonde is kind of what I was thinking. Blonde or brunette. Like brown hair. Luckily, we have yellow loaded. So I'm just gonna lay in a base, a yellow here for base. Some cream, even with the yellow. We're gonna make sure to shake this up really good. Light red or blonde? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go blonde. Like a dirty blonde, like brown blondish. Strawberry blonde. Forgive me if I'm not all up on the hairstyles, but what is strawberry blonde? Is that like blonde with like red highlights or something? How is that? The brown would look good. It's like fall colors. Yeah. base here. And the one thing I do know is that hair looks good in layers. <laughs> I cut Jess's hair the other day. We did a what? What kind of cut was it? It was some kind of weird cut. We we there's some tutorial on YouTube, and it was to give her hair layers. And goddamn, her hair did look good. It does look good.
keep that loaded. A butterfly cut. Give the brunettes a chance. Your Iwata guns and Createx pants are seven stops away. Nice, man. Very nice. Throwing this back with this brown. Throwing it back, son. Good. Yeah, but I haven't airbrushed in 30 years to put myself through college. Now that the engineering part of my life is coming to a close, I thought I would get back into the arts. See, you're you're one of the dangerous ones, man. Because if you truly have like an engineering degree and stuff, then you come into airbrushing and you might just have that, that eye, you know what I'm saying? You start messing with stuff, you start painting, you start realizing how some of this stuff works. And then you start coming up with your own ideas. Then in a few years, you're like, oh, that guy, Os Newton, was in the chat. He freaking, he has his own airbrush business now or something like that because he designs them a certain way. Just means you will pick it up faster than you think. Yeah, usually that's true too. If you have a passion for it, it goes a long way. It's just like a soldier at war, man. If you don't know why you're there or what you're fighting for, like you're gonna lose hopes. Cause you you're like, why am I here? You know what what does what's the point? But as far as when a soldier knows, like, oh, I'm here to fight for freedom, son! I'm here to save these people. Whatever it is. They, they can go a lot farther. Mm -hmm. 
Nothing like fighting for your own survival, that's for sure. It says I will reverse engineer plastic welding gaming repairs. Yep. So we're going to do this black, then I'm going to unmask her. We're going to do some more of the hair, but we're going to kind of make it go over some of the background, right? So we've got some overlay. And then we can go back and do some nice little details. And then Mr. William Klein can consider himself the winner of this nice painting for $110. Assuming nobody else bids. Says, just got my anthems in and knocked out a few pieces like them better than my eclipse so far so I mean that's cool <laughs> I, I don't want to I don't want to rain on your parade because I love my 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 anthems as well not gonna lie they are very good very good but to me it's not so much as one being better than the other because they're both really good my guy they're both like you can't go wrong with either one right and um, so when I tell people that, it's like the anthem is just a really good, like, brother to the Eclipse. Does that make me not like the Eclipse? No, like, the Eclipse is still, like, it is what it is. That, that magnet went flying. So I, 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 like me, I can't say I like one more than the other. The only reason I use my anthems and I don't like have a bunch of eclipses anymore is uh, the price. So the anthems are considerably cheaper. The parts are cheaper. And um, yeah, they're just, and it's like an American company. It's really nice. Let me show you guys so far if this, wedged in there again so let me show you what we got so far 
That looks pretty darn good. Oh, look, we still have this piece. Get rid of that. There you go. So now, so now you play with the background a little bit. From far away, you got that nice, ah, son, ah, it's a nice looking panel so far. All right, so now let's get the rest of this little hair in here and then we're gonna go back in and we're gonna just do a little more details, just a little more shadows, what have you. I was looking at Badger, but Mike's comments may have changed my mind, easily persuaded. <laughs> My favorite is my HPC though. Yeah. It says, encounter my pennies. Testicle be looking damn fine, son. <laughs> yeah, testicle does look pretty good right now. So right, let's just add some highlights to the hair. We're also gonna make that kind of trail off into the... said I still had hands and a brain do something <laughs> well, you can't argue with that start chopping off your hands Was thinking that same thing, she is pissed. <laughs> uh. All right. November and you got me out here in this bikini it's going to start snowing <laughs> I still love the arts I can't walk so I will just sit and create I should start with Skynet <laughs> yeah no for sure um, here in the airbrush community, if you go around, you start asking questions and talking to people, you'll meet a lot of people that are actually the same boat as you. Retired, disabled, um, just looking for a hobby, you know. At least most of the people I run into, that that's all it is.
generally speaking, everybody's pretty nice unless you ask some ridiculous questions. Now I would like to say that the, the rule of thumb is usually before you ask the question is A. Please Google it. Please even just type it into YouTube if you don't like Google, whatever it is. Put it into YouTube. Nine times out of ten, there's going to be somebody like me or another artist or another guy. Or in some cases, you could even end up like on the main Createx channel. And they could be showing you how to do the thing that you're questioning how to do. So asking ridiculous questions is it's kind of that thing of like, you didn't even try to find the answer. That drives me nuts, and I know it drives a lot of people nuts. And you will get a lot of trolly answers if you ask some questions that are considered, you know, kind of common knowledge. So I will save you that. Make sure you at least search it a little bit. myself I'm not completely disabled but I do have a I don't even know what to call it man I can't I can't do very much I can't do very much coach can't put me in man because I my back breaks after freaking just a little while my back is the one thing that doesn't comply Oh my god, dude. It's all the same person, too. Dude. Uh, it says, uh... <laughs> this is why it's why called things. <laughs> What's up, Chaotic Concepts? How's it going? Captain Custom says, how about this create text hold up on shoes? Does it crack? I couldn't find the answer. Yeah, it holds up pretty good. Am I wearing my shoes? Yeah, look, I'm wearing my... These shoes, if you go look up how to airbrush shoes, you'll see a video of how, when I airbrush these shoes. Yeah, it's cracked and yeah, you know. But these I wear like almost every day. Like literally almost every day. And it's been like two or three years. And, you know, speaking of health problems, the reason I have to wear these boxy ass shoes is because inside of here, these are the only shoes that will fit my <laughs> medicated orthotics, son, my freaking steel plate that I have to have inside of my shoe so that I can have some sort of an arc. Otherwise, my ass walks on the inside of my feet like a monkey or something. I don't know. So a lot of people would ask, well, why are you wearing those shoes, my mama? It's like, yeah, those shoes is the reason, the only reason I could walk. <laughs> it's the only reason I could get around. That video is the reason I asked, yeah. yeah I wear my shoes everywhere, son.
Nice, broken mic. Yeah, I honestly wish I wasn't broken. And that, like these shoes are worn shoes. If you're gonna, like a lot of people paint shoes just to make like some shelf queen shoes. And if that's your goal, definitely create takes a hold up forever. Like if you're never ever gonna bend it and never use it, you don't even have to worry. Uh, but other than that, like yeah, you'll be all right, you'll live. Just a bunch of broken misfits in here. Yep, that's all we are, man. Try having your your big toe amp amputated. Oh no, man. That makes most of us wish the same thing. You say you walk like a monkey, I walk Oh no, son. Oh no. Okay. spray just take care of it not trying to do too too much here got her looking pretty good pretty nice I just need a little bit of more work here on her face on there's nothing you can do but have a good atmosphere to be in yep that's all you gotta do is just keep keeping it pumping keeping it moving keeping it pushing oh, oh I did it again let's 
try not to touch the screen. See, this is a touch screen, so when I touch it, it freaking, it moves the other stuff on my other screen. I'm trying to get it. There you go. So now all I gotta do is come in with a little brush. That holder you 3D printed looks killer, Mike. Which one? This one or this one? This one over here is already available on the mikesbrush.com. Um, this is a prototype, but the finished product, which I think is a lot better than this, that one will be available soon. Um, and then we're also, to show you guys this, we're moving away from the 3D prints. Um, so one thing we have done, you see like this is a 3D printed one, this yellow one, and it's pretty strong, right? The thing is that if you like, if you squeeze it hard enough, it will break, it will crack, the layers will split. So we're moving over to a casting method. So now we actually cast these, and these are like really strong. Um, this one won't break. Uh, this is, again, just a prototype one that I was doing. So I mixed in some sparkle with it. Um, but the funny thing to me, or the interesting thing, is that it keeps, right? Because we made a mold using one of the 3D prints. So that texture from the 3D print, it's on the cast. Like, it's really, but these are really strong, really nice. Um, and so yeah, we'll be moving everything from 3D printing over to casting uh, Which will make them nice and strong nice and better um, And then the skull caps Something I haven't talked about but the skull caps um, Right now they're nice and hard right they're hard plastic 3D printed. We're gonna move those over to a silicone um, a Silicone type project so that you can um they'll be nice and bendy and stuff so you'll, they'll make it easier to get it on and off your airbrush um, that's pretty much it Thomas Thompson with a $25, sir. Thank you very much. So we're almost back to the, the normal, the normal streams, Thomas. I know you guys have been really wanting to get back. All right, so starting in with a little bit of black here. Will you be doing any for gravity feed brushes? Yeah, that's that's what this is. See, right? It goes like this. I have this. This is the one I have over here. So you take your airbrushes and you plop them in there. Blam! And one of these holds six. Um, the siphon feeds will hold four. Um, and the siphon feeds are designed to hold, um, you know, like a four ounce Createx bottle, which is. What I found to be the most common artists are using siphon feeds. A lot of them use either this type of bottle like this, like I'm using, which is like real easy to find. Find them on Coast and Amazon, Spray Gun or all those places have them. Or um, you could use the four ounce bottle using the Createx adapters. And that works really good as well. It's designed to hold the four ounce bottles, so. So yeah, some changes will be coming to the site here in the next few months. Um, I'm going to be putting a video out here soon 
just over some Christmas stuff. Sick, I will take one. Yeah, I'll let you know as soon as they um, go up on the site. Or like I said, the, the, the ones for the siphon feeds, those are up on the site already. So if you're interested in one of those, you go over to mikesbrush.com and you'll find them on there. So I'm just doing a little bit of brush work. This is just going to help define it. But then in a second, I'm going to come back in. We're going to tone a little bit of this down. going to paint up the Harley set that would make some cool content um yeah I haven't got to it yet it's gonna be a minute it's been sitting over there 
all in my name. Just haven't had the time. Been trying to have some fun with the channel. So I was again just trying to keep growing it. These guys keep me entertained around here. They've been keeping me busy for sure. Because I got it, because I have a video called How to Airbrush Motorcycle, and it does really good, but it's already starting to show its age. And um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing another video, a follow up video. But then I run into the problem if I try to use somebody's project that they bring in, then they're like, oh, you painted my bike on stream. Now everybody knows, you know, how it was made, and somebody's going to copy it or something. I hear lots of stupid things. So, that's the reason I don't post, you know, my actual work anymore. Like, you don't see me doing my streams focused around the work that I'm doing. Because... Some of the stuff I just hear is silly. Not a real blonde because she has black eyebrows. It's some Latina that dyed her hair blonde. It's okay. <laughs> Chaotic just gave you a phone IG. Yep. Yeah, Chaotic's pretty good. He actually sold me this uh, tank set that I over here have over here. He also has a channel. So make sure you go and check out his channel. He has some pretty cool videos. I think you may you mainly do bikes, right? Like that's that's your thing. Or I think that's your thing. Thank you. 
but does it match? <laughs> what? <laughs> That ain't no lot lizard for sure. <laughs> you guys are funny. She is the girl that trips and falls in every scary movie. Carmen Electra status. You forgot one, one important part of that. And that is as she trips and falls, she has to lose all her clothes. Somehow miraculously, she don't get a scratch on her, but all her clothes gets ripped off.
go. Jeez, man, jeez. <laughs> it says, only Putin didn't find girl with us. Oh, jeez. Not only is the bot watching, it's listening. I got like pretty funny though. Pretty funny. <laughs> Now you know for sure it's just somebody trolling. Bops are back. Alrighty. So right now we got Mr. William Klein at 110. We're nearing the end. Is Mr. William Klein going to take this nice painting home for 110? Why have a snack when you can have a meal? Oh, jeez.
go. Don't forget, at 150 you get free shipping. You still live stream every Thursday? No, we've been I've been pretty sporadic with the live streams. Um, probably after this we might try to reestablish a schedule again, but it just never works out. Every time I try to put a schedule together, because then it's like we try to do family things and stuff, and sometimes the schedule really conflicts with what we with stuff that's going on. A Whopper Happy Meal. No chicken nuggets. Is that on a metal panel? Yes, this is uh, on steel. That's, that's it, son. That's it. So let me see here. Let me get you guys a good look. The whole thing. This guy has a way. Get this guy over here. And we can just do this. There you go. And there is some nice effects going on in the background there. And then you got the nice pinup. I think pinups need to make a comeback, man. Need to see more pinups on cars and stuff. try and pay closer attention yeah you just kind of got to be subbed and if you see it come up you know you, you'll pretty much it says I do but I only got 120 is that a bid JP Taz JP Taz you already you already getting the other one so if you get this one you're gonna get free shipping with it because it's like I'll just toss it in with the other one I really like the effects on the background, like the way I move it around. Once we throw the can, the, the clear coat on there, that's really going to start shining. It's going to start shining. And actually, that makes me think maybe the background. Maybe we should go back in and just do a little work on the background. So we'll come in here. Next time, let's do a Whopper.
Whoa. All right. Let's not. Let's not knock it over. That's for sure. I think that looks pretty darn good. I'd sign that. I'd sign it. A whopper dropper without a stopper. Looking class. She is more like a French fry. Jeez. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I guess uh, Mr. William Klein is gonna take it for 110. Go once. And again, I do appreciate all your guys' bids and offers. 125 bid, huh? You're going to go 125? We'll do 125. William Klein. She go once. Let me know. I'm trying to stall for the, for the delay in the chat, you know. But let's get this let's get this guy out of the way. Let's get you guys back over here. And I think she turned out pretty good. You got a nice face on there. Nice body. Blends in good with the back. That little, that little itty bitty line, just outlining it, it just really sets it off with the background, gives it a nice good contrast. Gives it that nice art look, right? So it's not just like, I don't know, like a like a, trying to do a portrait. This is more like a, a really nice artsy piece, which I really dig. I think it looks good. I like the background. It's a dirty mess. I'm gonna call it the dirty mess. That's the name of this painting. Hey, look at me. This is a dirty mess. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good though. So there you go, well, I'm gonna call it. She needs some cake. <laughs> Jeez, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> so let's see here, it's still 110 to you. It's still 110 to William. He's at 125, bid. We'll go 110, we'll, we'll bring it back down. William, 110. I mean, it's gonna be about 10 bucks in shipping if you're in the US. Um, if you're somewhere overseas, it's going to probably be about 15 bucks in shipping. At 150, you get free shipping. Last panel, last chance, last call. Is anybody going to outbid? Last call, last panel. Then I will see you guys for a few days. I gotta go pick up compressor, then we got an event, and then it's Sunday. Then we'll probably be back like Tuesday afternoon with a nice how to airbrush live stream. I'll have the new compressor hopefully all set up. Um, and yeah. But I think that's it. Going once, William Klein. Going twice, William Klein. Three times, William Klein. He'll take it for 110. I appreciate all you guys coming hanging out today. I appreciate you guys all hanging out during these last five live streams. Um, again, we blew like any expectations I had, which my expectation was like $40 a panel. <laughs> and I thought that wasn't gonna get hit. I was way wrong. You guys are amazing. And um, yeah, I'm like I don't even know what to say. Um, William Klein guesses one, 110. And uh, big shout out to Fings, big shout out to JP Taz, uh, big shout out to uh, Mr. McLean. He's not in the chat today. He's probably at work.
but big shout out to him for also bidding on and winning one of the paintings and um, yeah and then today we got mr. William Klein thank you very 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 much mr. Klein um, go ahead and shoot me over an email I'll shoot you over an invoice and then uh, probably like Tuesday or Wednesday of next week is probably when I'm gonna put them all up in the mail I'm gonna clear coat them hopefully tomorrow um, I'm gonna sign them all tonight clear coat them all hopefully tomorrow um, get them all nice and dry um, the Joker panel I think I'm gonna do a little pinstriping on a little more pinstriping on after it's cleared and then um, yeah I think other than that they're all ready to go so again thank you guys again for all your support you guys have been awesome past these past five live streams we're gonna get back to the instructional videos after this um, it is like holiday season so I hope you guys are all getting ready for that and um, yeah we'll see you guys in the next video stay awesome friends we'll see you later bye bye